Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create an Apex plugin. So I was looking at this uh, GitHub page and they have a, like a heat map calendar that is quite nice that shows uh, different colors for each day based on how much, uh, how many contributions in this case, but uh, based on like a value. Uh, you can see low values and high values based on the colors. So I thought it was uh, quite cool and would be nice to have something like that in my own applications. And I want to make a plugin in Apex, so I just have to write a query to, to generate this. So the first thing I did was just to inspect this uh, element to see how it's made. And I can see this is actually an SVG, the whole, uh, the whole heat map. So if I expand this, I can see there is a, it's a, there are some some rows or some columns and each of those they have a rectangle that is this dot and it has different colors based on based on the value there is a date so the first thing I did then was uh, you can take this the whole thing and just copy that into a uh, into a let's see into a document and to, to have a better look at it and I was thinking uh, this can't be too difficult to generate uh, based on the data in my database uh, but this on its own will not produce the desired results because there is also some some styling so you can go for example see one of these specific uh, one of these specific rectangles you can see there are some some styles on these because it has a class of day and so on so what I actually did was uh, working here is the same same data that, that I just copied from from the page I went through and, and I extracted the minimum CSS that was needed to to create the look that I that I saw on this other page. So that is actually, this is my local file and it's showing me uh, this, just a static uh, SVG image. So now the, the task is to generate the same thing in an Apex plugin. So first of all, to create this Apex plugin, we have to go into Apex and we have to go to shared components into the plugins and then we create a new plugin uh, so we'll call it uh, calendar heat map and I'll just give it a name uh, calendar heat map region and this is a region plugin um, so this is where you place your PL SQL code. I usually don't use that because I want to put it in, put the code in a package instead, and call that. So I um, I will fill out that later. But for now, I just say region source is SQL statement, and um, yeah, I'll just start with that to create the plugin. And then, um, let's see. So then we need to, to, to write some PL SQL code to generate, to run the, the query that the user has written and to, um, to render the, the heat map markup. So I wrote this package that I call Apex Calendar Heat Map Plugin Package. I will just paste that so the the actual name of the function that renders this plugin is called render plugin just returns this standard type that you need to return and uh, I will put that in here render plugin uh, of course there needs to be uh, there needs I need to put that package in the database um, yeah so I'll open the um, 
the uh, SQL scripts. Usually I would um, I would write this code in, uh, in Sublime as you can see here and I would compile it but since I'm from from Sublime but since I'm on a in the Apex uh, SQL workshop I will upload the script here or I will actually create the script here by pasting it so I create heatmap plugin packages so we, we can have a look at what this code is doing um, so this is just a utility function to to get um, a list of dates or days based on a range of dates and then this render plugin is actually rendering the, the actual plugin contents so in the package body I have this uh, utility function explode period that is just looping through and outputting one one uh, row per day so this is a pipeline function that you can call to, to generate rows like that uh, some more utility functions. The real uh, render plugin is is here, and what it's doing is uh, it's declaring some variables, and then uh, I'm. This is what the user will type as the SQL statement in the plugin uh, source. So that's the SQL statement to run. There is a function in the apex plugin utility package called get data to that will allow you to get to to run this query and get the data and then i'm doing some stuff to find the minimum maximum values calculate what the minimum and maximum values are for the for the whole uh, chart outputting some css this is the css that we need for this svg to display normally uh, or with the, with the colors and everything and then I'm just outputting this SVG and I'm going through each each of the days printing out um, one rectangle for each each day this is the this is the rectangle this is this up here is actually the different uh, columns and then uh, we have some labels and then we have the show legend uh, attribute so if we want to display the legend on the chart we will print out the different colors and what they mean um, okay so let's copy this as well let's try to put uh, both of these into the same script I hope that works fine create Okay, now we have this, and I want to to run this. Uh, let's see. Package created, package body created, zero errors, so that's great. Let's go and see that they that it's here. Okay, seems to be good. Uh, okay, now I have the, the calendar heat map and uh, we have put in the, the call to the render procedure or function. So now let's go and create a new page. Blank page, testing heat map plugin. Um, yeah. So this gives us an empty page. We will create a region and now just call it heat map. And now we should see the, uh, the calendar heat map plugin that I just created will be here. And that needs a source. So uh, what do we need to put in the source? Well, I need to put in um, a date first and a number and then some uh, some description so let's see 
select trunk view date count star as the date count star as the count from apex activity apex workspace activity log Group by trunk view date where view date is this date. So, so let's take the last year. Uh, there's something wrong with that. So let's switch back here and just try to run the query. should be first of course okay so we get a date and account um, we could do auto by trunk view date like that so now this this is showing us this is the apex activity log so it shows us how many clicks we have and now I get a list of clicks per day so I can take this put it in here save now let's try to run this page yeah look at that it works uh, actually since the apex uh, workspace activity log is only being kept for for two weeks then uh, then we only go two weeks back so that's but if we had some more uh, some um, some table that contained data for more than a few weeks like months or years we would see the whole year here and we can see that we have the, the big values they have the the dark green and the small values they have the, the light green so i can uh, i can duplicate this and i can say heat map number two uh, what's another query we can run for example select star from uh, um, apex applications for example um, so select this should have a date column believe um, I believe it's modified on or something like that can't remember exactly or last modified maybe look again um, last updated on okay last updated on yeah, we can uh, we can basically take the same updated on is and so this should give me a list of how many applications I've created on a specific or modified on a specific day so I'll use this query for the heat map number two and then let's test it So it's now showing me how many applications were modified on a specific day. So I hope you find this useful. I will publish the code for this plugin 
or the, and the plugin itself uh, later, but uh, for now, that's all, and bye-bye.